In this video, I want to show you how to work around the crazy limitations that I see when trying to use the Smartsheet for DocuSign integration, standard integration. And to be completely fair, it's not the worst integrations that I've seen. I've just reviewed the DocuSign for SharePoint integration last week and showed you how to do that. And it was actually the most terrible integration that I had ever seen before because it was completely useless. At least the DocuSign for Smartsheet integration helps you get to, I don't know, 50% of what you want to do, but it's just not going to cut it for most of our clients. So my goal with this video is to show you how you can automate absolutely everything. Let's say that you want to send an offer letter to candidates and you have all of the candidate information stored in your Smartsheet, the, the name of the candidate, the address and the position, the start date and all that sort of stuff. And you want to fill in these templates without having to copy paste. And so that's what the standard DocuSign for Smartsheet integration can help you with in theory, but it can only work if you're using static documents. To the left, this is what the document will look like if we use the standard DocuSign for Smartsheet integration. And that is because the, this native integration does not support DocuSign dynamic templates. This means that you're gonna have to leave enough white blank space to account for the variable to be replaced. And so you'll either have too much or not enough white space for the hourly rate here as you can see the dollar sign and the 25 is printed on top of the the data that's hard coded in the document template but what we really want is to have a document that looks like this where the variable inf information which has been in this example here highlighted in green merges directly in the word based template which is how dynamic templates work inside of DocuSign and so that's my biggest frustration I would say with this standard DocuSign for Smartsheet integration. The second frustration is that it's only available to enterprise customers. If you're on business or pro you can't get it you're gonna have to create your own integration and that's exactly why we're here so just be patient I'm gonna show you how to do it don't worry. Also this integration does not allow you to send web forms so if you don't know what web forms are forms are simply a mobile responsive version of your document so let's just say that you wanted to send a w9 to contractors using your Smartsheet data well you will have to send a normal envelope and so this is what your signers are going to have to try to fill out on their mobile device and you can see how small how tiny each box is it's really really hard but using web forms it's much easier as you can see here this is the size of an iphone screen and so all the fields that you would normally have to really struggle to fill out on a mobile device have been extracted on this layer that your recipients can easily fill, uh, use to fill out when using their mobile devices. And then once they've filled out the web form, the document will be filled with all the information that was entered in the web form. You can't do that with a Smartsheet integration because it only uh, supports te envelope templates and not uh, web form templates. And finally, the last thing that's super annoying, for example, if you're collecting the mobile number of your signers, that phone number is not going to make its way back in the mobile number column inside of your Smartsheet automatically. You're going to have to copy paste. And so that's why I think that it's not a strong integration. And for most of our clients, it's not going to be enough because why would you just want to automate half of the process when you can automate the entire document workflow? using your own custom integrations. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's get started. And if we haven't met before, my name is Sofian Saudi. Hi, I used to be a DocuSign implementation consultant for DocuSign themselves back in 2019. And since 2020, I founded Solution Consulting, an agency that helps organizations drowning in paperwork and manual copy paste completely automate document workflows. Because now with automation and integrations, there is a huge opportunity for your team to save hundreds of hours every year by automating the boring things like creating documents using Smartsheets data in DocuSign without doing any copy paste, then tracking the status of those signatures in Smartsheet. And when the documents have been signed by your recipients, those documents get stored automatically back to Smartsheet and any other cloud such as Google Drive or OneDrive. And the file name gets renamed automatically based on the naming convention of your choice. So you never have the issue of not being able to find a document because they're renamed the way that you like. And finally, if you're collecting data from your signers, then you can get that data flow back inside of your Smartsheet and so many organizations aren't taking advantage of that. It's crazy how many are using DocuSign manually still. 
And to automate the process, actually, you just need to learn how to map out your process, learn how DocuSign works and create a DocuSign template so that you can integrate those templates with all the apps that you use every day, such as Smartsheet. And you can absolutely do this on your own, but if you don't want to waste your team's time doing it or doing it yourself, then this is something that we can help you with. You can schedule a consultation using the link just down below. During the call, we'll ask you about your current process and give you the best implementation roadmap for your unique needs. But if you're more of a DIY person, I suggest that you download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet. It's in the link just down below as well. It will help you get started with DocuSign on the right foot. But now let's go back to how to integrate DocuSign and Smartsheet the right way. The first thing that you want to do is to create a couple of additional columns inside of Smartsheets. The first one is going to be a checkbox. So you can also use a single select if you want. And you're going to call it Create Draft in DocuSign. The second column that you want is an envelope status. And you can have this as a single select column with the options Draft Created, Completed and Sent. The third column is the um, envelope URL, which is going to allow us to preview the envelope that we are generating, because I don't think it's a good idea to send documents for signature without checking that the data has merged correctly. And the last column is the DocuSign envelope ID. Once you've created all these columns, then what you wanna do is to create your first integration that is going to create this draft envelope inside of DocuSign using your Smartsheet data. And in this example, I'm using make.com, but you might want to use Zapier. You might want to use Power Automate. It does not matter what you use. At the end of the day, all these tools are similar and just work with the one that you're the most comfortable with and that and, and also suits your company security requirements. If I click on this checkbox here, create envelope in DocuSign and then save. This is going to trigger my scenario inside of make.com and Smartsheet is going to send information to make and say, that checkbox has been checked. And then we're going to extract information from the row where that checkbox is placed. So row number three, and we're going to extract things like the full name of the recipient, the email address, and all the other fields that we want to populate inside of this DocuSign template that is here. And this is this step that you can see here. Once the DocuSign template has been filled out and it gives us, it's going to give us an envelope ID and we're going to want to write the envelope ID inside of our envelope ID column then we will want to extract the document generation form fields from the envelope and so if we take a look at what this is as you can see here it says document generation so we want to extract all of those fields it's really weird the way that Doc the DocuSign API works I don't know why they don't make it available in the template what you have to do is create a draft envelope and then once you've got the draft envelope then you want to scan the envelope to extract the form fields the, 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 ma the mail merge form field so you can fill that in and so we are then getting this, uh, these, these form fields. We are uh, updating those form fields with information. And then um, I guess that's it for our first scenario. And so when this is done, theoretically, it should have changed our status for uh, Sarah, Emily, sorry, Emily, to be uh, draft created, which, which is the case. So now if I click on this URL, I should be able to see the envelope that I've just pre-populated and created in draft. And so I'm going to click on continue and we can see that the recipient information is here. This is the form data. So if I compare this information, everything should match. Unit 5, 456 four, Oak Avenue, Unit 5, Riverside, blah, blah, blah. So it looks correct. So I'm just going to uh, click on review and then I'm going to be able to check that my fields are placed, right? Everything is merged fine. And then I've got my signer field. I haven't bothered for the purpose of this demo to build the name, the title and the date, but I've just got a signature field. And I've also got a text field here because I do want to capture the candidate's phone number, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and so here, I'm just going to click on send. And then this is when the second integration comes into play because we have a status tracking integration. Let me show you how this one works. So that second integration essentially is just waiting for DocuSign to say, hey, the status of this envelope ID has changed from draft created to sent. And so this is what we want to do. And so there's two paths, two different paths that this integration can take. It's either the status has changed to sent. And if that's the case, we just want to update the, the envelope status from uh, created to sent. And as you can see earlier, it said draft created. It now says sent. And so that's the only thing we want to do. But then the third and final integration, and it's kind of the same integration really, but it's just a different path, 
here if the envelope status is completed then more things will happen and so let me just sign this document first so that the envelope status changes to completed here's the document so i'm going to sign this offer letter on behalf of emily the candidate i'm signing here and i'm also going to add emily's phone number i have no idea if this format phone number is formatted correctly but we'll just pretend that that's that's the case now signing the envelope as hr and obviously nobody would sign with just the word hr as their signature but you get that this is a demo, right? It's very, actually, it's, I don't know if you know, but it's very time consuming to build those de demonstrations. And now that my envelope has been completed, what should happen is that using the envelope ID, again, we are going to scan our smart sheet and find the row that contains the envelope ID for which the status has changed to completed. And then we'll update the status column from sent to completed. And then we will upload the attachment, so the signed document, inside of the Smartsheet record. And we will also extract the envelope form data, so the phone number, and we'll add this form data back to our Smartsheet. So let me just refresh and see if this has been done yet. So it now says completed for Emily, and we have the mobile number that I've just entered earlier. And we also have the attachment, which is here. And as you can see, the attachment contains the name of the candidate. And here is the signed document. And so all of this workflow is not possible if you just use the standard DocuSign for Smartsheet integration. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. Are you using Smartsheet, the standard DocuSign for Smartsheet integration? And if yes, what do you think is lacking? Let me know in the comments down below. In the next video, I will show you how to integrate DocuSign with Microsoft Excel so you can create documents using your Excel data. I will see you in the next one. Until then, happy signing. Ciao.